Welcome to Bryant Park Community Garden. Just want to show you around some of our VEEP donation boxes. Here we have some cabbage, some broccoli. We got some cilantro coming up in between there. And we have kale here. Our health cabinet team here at Christ the King plants a few boxes every year to grow produce for Veep. So we donate all of the produce that comes from those boxes to the Veep food shelf. Right now we have one very dedicated gardener who takes care of the Veep boxes. At least once a week we bring produce over there, drop it off, and they're always so happy to see fresh garden produce. We average probably around 300 pounds a year. It really varies. So in 2018, we actually donated over 600 pounds of produce. About half of the gardeners are members of our church here, Christ the King, and the other half are members from the Bloomington community. It's an effort to be outside of the walls of our church and engage the people that um, are around us. But it really is delightful. You spend 10, 15 minutes talking with somebody you don't know, and not only do you talk about the beets they're growing, but you find out that they're, they're originally from New York, or that they have you know, a couple of garden spots. Okay, there's a few tiny flowers here, so that'll be butternut squash hopefully by the end of the season. We're always looking for different ways to reach out to the community and get people more involved who maybe see the garden and aren't sure if it's someplace that you know is for them. And we just want to reassure everyone that it is for everyone. We want the community to come and be involved. We want it to be a space where the community can come and connect and feel welcome. We offer some events that are um, related to the garden and to the health cabinet. We've had um, some fix and freezes where we show how people can cook on a budget. We have an annual garden party, which will be this August. It's just so much tastier than what you might get another time of year. And so it just brings us a lot of joy to be able to bring people who maybe don't have access to those really fresh fruits and vegetables on a regular basis, the best of the best produce. There's this quote, and I think I heard it on public radio, it's that there's only two things in life that money can't buy, true love and homegrown tomatoes. <laughs>